dissection hall a place full of wonderful memories isn't it and in this video it is exactly the topic of discussion so in this video i'm going to be talking about how to make proper use of dissection hall which is in an academic way most of my friends and including me and most of my classmates have used dissection hall also in a non academic way but let's not delve into that we'll just look into the academic way of using dissection hall in a very proper way i am rohit pvr a third year medical student in madhya medical college and in this channel i post videos about uh, videos like this like the mbbs videos and alongside i also post videos about some of the books i read and some of the spiritualist stories and some stuff so if this sounds like a cup of tea then definitely hit the subscribe button so dissection basically you are going to look at the cadaver and you going to dissect you going to study the anatomy using the cadaver uh, first of all i would like to ask you guys to give respect to the cadaver they have literally donated their body once they died to us for the sake of studying they have given their body to us so it's like amazing great right? we won't even spend some time to teach someone else the topics but these people have given their body to study so this is something really great and really amazing so cadaver is the first teacher so you should definitely give respect to the cadaver i am a strong believer that you can learn a lot from others mistakes and in this video i am basically sharing some of the mistakes that i did some of the good things that i did so from the good things that i did during my first year you can learn from them you can copy them and from the mistakes that i did you can make sure that you don't repeat in your life okay and after this uh, philosophical kind of teacher vibe talks uh, i just go into the way you should be using um, dissection hall in a very proper academic way point number 1 see every time you go to dissection hall you probably know the topic of discussion of that day so make sure that you at least have a little tiny bit of knowledge about the topic of discussion before you enter the dissection hall because if you are going to look at the cadaver like without having any prior knowledge you won't understand anything there is this amazing quote right like the eyes only see what the brain knows so it's the same case here unless you know that there we can see parotid gland here you can never see parotid gland during dissection while you cut this place you just miss it that's how it happens so always at least have a tiny bit of knowledge before you go for the dissection class point number 2 always take the dissection kit with you when dissection classes first started all of us will like compete uh, to participate in the dissection all of us will bring the bring the scalpel all of us will come and all of us will like fight with each other to decide who is going to dissect in that day but as time goes people just move away people just change and some of them won't come to the section class at all most of them will skip the class some will just come and uh, you know you know what happens right but don't be that guy uh, try to use every single opportunity of the section you have in the first year because you might have heard a million people say this to you you will do proper dissection only in your first year for instance now i am a third year student i so badly want to dissect specimen i want to study it so badly but i don't have a specimen i don't have a cadaver with me and point number 2 i am in third year so i have to study my third year subjects now i have to revise my revise my second year subjects now i have to revise my first year subjects now so i have no time at all so if you are a first year student watching this video obviously you will be a first year student if you are watching this video so please make sure that you are making utmost use of the dissection classes if you like this video can i get a like now point number 3 they will ask you to bring this book called as cunningham with you all the time isn't it in my perspective the book is just like an entry ticket without the ticket you can't go inside but you can't like literally do anything with the ticket you just have to keep it with you just go like enjoy the carnival come out it is just like entry ticket at least that's how i used it i mostly use my bdc uh, bdc bd chaurasia is my main uh, book i used to bring my bdc and my cunningham with me and the dissection kit with me as we dissect through the cadaver i look at my bdc from time to time and i'll write the correlate the theory with the practical so this is how you should be studying right you should not simply just study mug up every concept in the uh, theory bdc like anyone can do that anyone can memorize whatever is in the bdc but you have to correlate that with this obviously in the in bdcs the diagrams will be like crystal clear it will be like the ideal way something should be presented but only when you dissect through the body you will understand how cumbersome like the structures are within so it's like very different from the theory and the practical so you have to try to correlate your level best between theory and the practical point number 4 you will be having almost like two hours in the dissection class right it's humanly impossible to like completely focus for the two hours take some breaks within yourself like they'll be giving you breaks right uh, in, in my class there will be some like intense nerves they will study in the break period also and they'll be like i i don't get the point like it is humanly impossible to study the whole time so when they're giving you breaks 
use the brakes, go outside, get some fresh air, and then come. Because of all the liquids that are present in the cadaver room, it won't be really great. So always take some rest, take some break, and then come back to the dissection class and then listen properly. Point number five, try not to skip dissection classes. Like as I told already, like dissection classes are the the thing in first year, and you will like miss dissection classes in the future. So make sure that you don't skip uh, these classes. I also used to like skip some classes because I was bored to come, but uh, I actually regret it, and I don't want you to regret it. And this is the playlist in which I talked about how to lead your life in MBBS. Everything about MBBS I have put in this playlist. So make sure you check it out. And as always, thank you for watching. See you soon.